This video will demonstrate the different parts of the microscope. When you take a microscope out of the cabinet, you'll notice there is a cover on it. The label for the cover should always face outward or face you. As you go to take the microscope out of a cabinet, reach your hand in through the cover to grab onto a hole inside. You'll be able to feel it. Then support the bottom of the scope or the base with your opposite hand. You should always have two hands on the microscope prior to placing it on the table or back in the cabinet. When you get your microscope to the desk, simply remove the cover and place it nearby. Looking at the scope, you'll notice there are two eyepieces. Each eyepiece contains an ocular lens. The ocular lenses will magnify your image on the slide by 10 times. The eyepieces are attached to body tubes. It's always a good idea to make sure that the zero of the eyepiece matches the line on the body tube prior to viewing your object. I'm going to line those up now. From the body tubes, we see the head of the microscope. In Anatomy and Physiology 1 and 2, we leave the heads where they are. Some people like to turn the heads so that the eyepieces face the opposite direction. The problem with that is the threads that hold the head in place, which are like the heads on a screw, very quickly wear out. That makes the upper portion of the microscope very vulnerable to falling off and breaking when it hits the floor. So we like to keep the head in place. This hole is where I grabbed earlier to hold on to the microscope. This portion of the scope is the arm. This large portion is the body. On the base of the microscope, which is the bottom, you'll notice there is a place for a power cord as well as the switch that turns the scope on and off. We also see on the base on the right hand side a light control wheel. Always run your thumb towards you gently to make sure the wheel has the light turned as low as possible prior to turning on the scope. You can always turn it up later if you need it higher. As we look at the microscope, you'll notice that underneath the head there are silver tubes. Those silver tubes are objective lenses. There is a rotating nose piece, which is this black wheel with little ridges, that allows you to change the position of the objective lenses. Every time you take a microscope out and prior to using it, as well as before you put it away, be sure that the red number four objective lens is pointing downward. The next higher objective lens is the yellow number 10. We have a blue number 40. And back behind you see the black 100. In Anatomy and Physiology 1 and 2, we use the red 10, I'm sorry, the red 4, the yellow 10, and the blue 40. The 100 objective lens is a lens that requires a drop of oil in a process called oil immersion. The tissues we view in anatomy and physiology do not require oil immersion. The large black area that you see is the stage. All of this is the stage. The silver portion on top is the mechanical stage. This glass piece is the condenser. It condenses and strengthens the amount of light that comes from the light source, which is down here below the stage. Also below the stage is a special lever called the iris diaphragm. The iris diaphragm allows you to control the amount of light that goes through the condenser by moving this lever back and forth. When you start to view your object, Make sure the iris diaphragm lever is as far to the right as possible. 
you'll notice there are two knobs on the left side of the stage and below it. The upper knob will move the stage toward and away. The lower knob will move the stage from side to side, and actually only the mechanical stage moves with the lower knob. These knobs are very helpful in making sure that you have a specimen in the light, as well as for helping you to scan your tissue when you're using the number 10 objective lens. Here we can see coarse adjustment knobs. This is the big knob, and you will see these knobs on either side of the body. Make sure that you use both hands at the same time when you use the knobs to move the stage downward, you turn the knob away from you. When you want to move the stage up towards you, you move the knob this way towards you. Outside the coarse adjustment or coarse focus knobs, you'll see smaller fine adjustment or fine focus knobs. These knobs are to be used with any objective lens other than the number four. When you're using the red number four objective lens, you can have your hands on the big coarse adjustment or coarse focus knob. After that, we only touch the fine adjustment or fine focus knob. That's to prevent the objective lenses from cracking as well as the slides from cracking.